Wait. Are you saying you're without sin? No, I'm a sinner. So even after Jesus is sacrificed, I'm a sinner. you're still a sinner. What's the difference We're then? We're all sinners. We're all sinners. Exactly. Five minutes later. Listen, do you commit any sin at all? No. Okay, so you become not, like Jesus now. Right, so wow. it's in Corinthians 13, right? <laughs> so this Christian here is saying she doesn't sin at all. That's it. Who's your Christian? What is she saying? She says, God, I, to be honest with you, it's all word salad. Are, she, what, are, you, are you a Christian? What are you? Yeah, I'm a Christian. So what are you saying? What's your, what's your claim? I said, basically, the world was made in seven days. Six days, one day being rest. Seven days in total. Okay. And I said, I'm not saying this is in the Bible. I'm giving, I'm giving a, a, a theory behind So what, what is the, what's the problem with the six or seven days? What's the problem? He, he, making it a problem. Yeah, because he's saying six days and the seven day rested. Yeah, so it's seven days. So does God need to rest? We all do, yes. No, but God, we are not like God, are we? Of course we need rest. Of course we need to sleep. Of course we need to eat and drink. But does God need to rest? <laughs> yes. Why? That's why he had the seven day of rest. No, but why did why did he need to rest? If Sorry. That's irrelevant to salvation no, no, and freedom. No, no, wait, wait, it is because... That's irrelevant. Jesus came here, he died for how sins, he was buried, and after the third day, he resurrected by the power of the living God that is still alive. Now today. you're preaching like in the church. This is not the church. Yeah. It's not a church. Okay, it's so let's truth. let's it's have possible. a let's have a dialogue. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Just you say in the Bible. Come. Let's reason together. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Don't preach. Yeah. Let's reason. We, you know, we you you can go and preach in the Bible. Sorry, in the church anytime. But here we have a dialogue. So when I say that God need rest, what is a logical, rational answer to that? Does God Almighty, who created us all, does He need rest? Yes. Okay. Why is that? Because does He get tired? No. Because only the one who gets tired needs rest. Otherwise, you don't need to rest, do you? So, does God need rest because he gets tired? What is the reason? But wait, what is that? How do you know God God is resting? How do you know? Uh, do you mind? I'm talking to one person. Yeah, Join the queue. You're next. Okay. Yeah. So, so what I what I'm saying is that if God, God is resting. if God is getting tired, only then he needs no. rest. No, that's the question. She didn't say that God was. No, I'm asking why. But she did. You know? She didn't say that God rested. But the question is why? Why does God need to rest if He is the one who is God Almighty? I, I want to know her answer if you guys no, don't mind. She didn't say that. Okay. So you what is your answer to that? I don't know everything. I didn't say. Neither do I. I don't know. Only God knows everything. Oh. I don't know. How do you know that? Okay. Wait a minute. All How I you know, know is knows? Jesus' it's, 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 love has set me free. Just, all you say is... How just ignore him, bro, bro. So ignore, ignore him, just speak to one, one person. So, look, you said that God needed to die for our sins. Did you say that earlier? God for her is Jesus needed to die for your sins. Yeah? I believe in the Trinity. Jesus, God, is free in one. Where is that in the Bible? Right? You've got no, Father. Where is that in the Bible? The because you made a claim, three in one. Where is three in one in the Bible? It's not there. It's her face. Okay. Her face. I think she can answer without your without your help. Can you answer without his help? No. Do you need his help? Yeah. Yes. She, 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 no, 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 no. I'm here. You're not speaking on her no, behalf. Okay. Can you answer? Can one. you answer by yourself or do you need his help? against one. And be honest. It's Quran paraphrasing. You are okay. Okay. You're okay. Okay. So the question is this: is Where in the Bible does it say three in one? Because this is a claim it the Christians make. It doesn't the say. The Christians make this claim, but it does not no. say anywhere in the Bible. Can no, I? it doesn't. Yeah, sure you can. No. God is a compound one. Where does it say that in the Bible? Now, we have the doctrine of Trinity. Yeah. Is that from the Bible or from outside the Bible? Yeah. By studying our books, we know that the Father in heaven sent his word who came as the Lord Jesus Christ yeah, but it, by the Spirit. You're not answering the question. Is what you claim from the Bible or is it from outside the Bible? Yeah, actually, okay, so show me where three in one is in the Bible. In Genesis, we, we created. Yeah. You know what language Genesis is in? It's in the Hebrew language. In Hebrew, you have something called the majestic we, the majestic plural. So, for example, when he says we, he doesn't mean like we as in many persons, okay? Because God, in the majestic plural in Hebrew, they can use the term we. You know, 
the queen when she speaks. She, she says, we became a mother. She, she, she means just herself. herself. She became a mother. But this is in English. They borrowed it from the Semitic language, where the term we and they can imply to a single person, but in a majestic way, because it rep the kings speak like that. Absolutely. God Almighty speaks Absolutely. like that. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, when you see a follow-up and somebody say, we, let's, let's make man in our image. And later on, the Bible says, and darkness covered the earth, and the Spirit of God was over and over the waters, and God said, let there be light. So now you see the we is represented here in the Spirit, in the Word. In no, the no, it doesn't. Correct. Let there be light doesn't mean the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Father I'm sorry. spoke his word, let there be light. Are you saying the Father can't speak? Wait, wait. Are you saying the Father cannot speak on his own? He can speak think, on think? his own. Exactly. So why did you automatically insist that the Father, when he speaks, is the Son? Why? God, God is a spirit. So the spirit is hovering over the water. And that can the Father speak then, on his own? And if the, the Father can speak on his own, those words, those words that he spoke yeah. are his whole own. He doesn't need to have the Son in there. Of course. Good. Yeah. So where is the Trinity in the Genesis? It's not there. Come this on, is sir. you. Sir. This is you putting the Trinity where it doesn't sir, belong. I'm not putting the Trinity in Yes, way. yes. So I'm not. Uh, okay, why did you mention Genesis 1? Why? What is the reason? It all began. What began? In the the Trinity or not the Trinity? In the beginning, God is that a Trinity in Genesis one? Yes or no? God was already revealing. Himself. Can you please answer the question? Is that gen in the in Genesis one? Do you find the Trinity? Yes, right, so you're not going to ask me a question. You said me to say yes. No, no. I asked you a question. You answered, and then I asked you a counter question because you mentioned Genesis one. My question is very simple. Do you find the Trinity in Genesis one? Right there and then. Absolutely. You see, so you do get claim it because when I asked you clearly, do you put the Trinity where it doesn't belong? You said no, I don't. But you are actually, because when God speaks, when God the Father speaks, it doesn't mean that is the Son. Because the God can God the Father can speak independently. Shall I give you an example where he spoke independently during the baptism of Jesus? What did he say? This is my beloved son in whom I am well. Good. Who spoke that? God the Father. Thank you. So he can speak without the aid of the Son, right? But Jesus is still God Why are you saying but, my friend? There's no need for a but. The answer is yes. Okay, Jesus can speak on his own. The Father can, in fact, no, Jesus can't. Because according to the Bible, Jesus says, I, I do not say anything other than what I hear from the one who sent me. Exactly. So he gives permission from God to speak even. The same thing with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The, I don't even look at that. The Holy Spirit, the, the Holy the Holy Spirit cannot speak on his own. Okay? Yeah, yeah. The Holy Spirit doesn't speak on his own either. Okay? The reason for that is because the Holy Spirit himself says. Says, I will not say anything on my own, only what I hear. Quranic. He will not say, say anything on his own, only what he hears. I don't, I don't know how they yeah. got married and mind a six year old. Why did you bring that automatically? I don't know how a man can actually, how can God be in the belly of a woman say for nine months? Quranic. What happened? Spirit You're spying God. 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 No, no, but the spirit of God became God flesh. Can he became flesh. God. Can you imagine? Okay. Can you imagine a God became a baby and he needed food from his mother? He needed to be suckled by his mother. Can so so you imagine the God? Powerful. Then why does he need to be suckled by his mother? No, God, because he's all powerful doesn't need food. All powerful doesn't need to be no, in the belly to of show, his mother. So that he's powerful, he, he made himself a baby. Oh, so that is not powerful. That is his weakness. His power, yeah. He shows his weakness. He, no. he, he became yes. weak yes. because his weakness is so why? powerful. Why did he send Jesus in the first place? That's just words, son. As a light it's and not, savior. Just, listen, good question. Listen, let me guys, 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 no listen. One, 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 one. Oh, yeah. So the lady asked a very good question. Why? did he send a savior? Do you know that all the prophets were saviors of the people? Was Moses a savior to his people, the Ben Israel? But did any of them no, no, wait, wait. Before, before, and to set before you go, from the, the, I, actually, the yes, yes. The of this when house, Moses came, still living in sin now. Is, is your faith making you free? Or are you if you ask one question, let me answer that before you jump to the next one. You ask, why did why did God send a savior? Was Moses a savior to his people? He was what did God. Moses teach? No, no, why are you announcing the question? Was, was Moses God. a savior to his people? He was sent by yes, God. Yes, he was. Yes, no. Very simple. He God. was a savior to his people because he got them out of the the Egypt. clutches, the clutches of the Pharaoh from by Egypt. God power. Yes, exactly. And Jesus, when he came to the earth, yes, remember what Acts 2:20 used to say? That he does wonders and miracles. He was 
a man accredited by God who does wonders and miracles by God through him. Okay, so everything Jesus did was because of the permission of and his God. Are there wonders? Do you see wonders and miracles in Islam? Of course there is. Then? You know, wonders and miracles are also done by the Antichrist. Please don't yeah. worship him. Yeah. Okay? Because wonders and miracles do not prove the person is evil or good. It proves that they have got some special power. But in the case of Jesus, it specifically says, given by God, these powers and miracles were given by God and they are done by God through Jesus Christ. Yeah. Acts 2.22. Satan, Satan was kicked out because he had pride. And he, yeah, I know, but that's got nothing to do with this miracle. Why are you they, conflating? You it, it, yeah, you're all over the place. <laughs> yeah? Answer the question. Okay, so... Yeah. Rude, you come in peace, okay? Please. I'm not being rude. No, no. You, you, okay, so what was your second question? You, you said the Savior. The second question was no, with why regards... Do you, why do you think God sent Jesus? I did already. I said in, in order... But then you're saying about Moses. Yes, but because Jesus they were all saviors. Is Jesus image? is the teacher. And what did he, he teaches teach? He teaches us how to love. What, what else did he teach? He teaches us the fruits of the Spirit. It, to bring to be the light and savior of the world, so that we all. He never ever came. No. What did Jesus actually say when they asked him? What did he say? I have come for nothing but the lost house of Israel, that I will fulfill the law. He said nothing. Are you the lost house of Israel? Why are you whispering in here, man? Come on, you can speak like a man. Okay, no need to whisper. Like yeah, but because I will just walk away. You can walk away, no problem. We are not here for you, lady. We're here to teach the truth about God I'm Almighty. Here to claim the gospel, which is the good news of Jesus Christ, that he came here, he died yeah. for our sins, he We're was buried. Yeah, there's a preaching in the church. That only works in the church. Preaching. So what, that only works in the church. What, are you, what, what goodness are you bringing by your faith? Where's the goodness in your in your? God? Okay, can can I can I answer that? Okay, so the goodness, the goodness, the goodness, discipline, and that. Oh, if you do well, this, if you do what happened to your discipline. kindness and your love? Please show it. Don't Jesus just preach it. You need to practice it, not just preach it. If Jesus came to preach only the goodness, then why? Why in the end time he's going to destroy anyone who doesn't worship him? That's what he said. What's your answer now? Yeah, go on, go on, whisper. <laughs> whisper. No, it's fine. I wasn't actually listening. I was. Oh, you are never listening unless somebody whispers to you. Okay, once again, in the second coming of Jesus, is he going to destroy his enemies? He's of course. Destroy, no, in the second coming, he's going to take his people and then he's going to close it and the mark of the beast will come. And you can see it. What's he going to do to the enemies? We're in the end times, we're in Revelation, you can see in Turkey. Now the earthquake, the the the, the, the uh, labor pain. What does he do to the people who don't you can be, worship him? You can see pride. You uh, can now you're anger, now you're preaching you again. Grief. You can see it. Have a dialogue. No need to preach. It's not a church. You can see okay. it. Okay. So in the second coming, does he kill his enemies? No. No. So what does it mean? He makes his enemies his footstools. What does it mean by that? Lord, have you read the Bible? Actually, you haven't read the Bible, Lord, have you? Said to my Lord. Lord. Okay. So in Matthew, in 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 First Corinthians fifteen twenty four, it says that he at the end. When he has destroyed all his enemies, he's going to give the kingdom back to his father, Jesus back to his God. Are you all together? It's like you're. Well, are you together? Yeah. Are you together? No, but why is there free? Like... Because we are discussing the Trinity. <laughs> you're wasting time. She didn't like that. So anyway, these are the Christians. They thought they'd come here and preach. Because you didn't us to answer. I was going to respond. Okay. 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 So the good thing. The good thing. Okay. What does it bring? No problem. The good thing about Islam is that Allah is merciful God who is almighty who is all powerful he does not need to have uh, he doesn't need to give forgiveness by the by any blood shed like the way the Christians do in Christianity you cannot be forgiven unless and until there's a human sacrifice of a perfectly innocent man Allah is all merciful he doesn't need that he can forgive by his mercy by his justice and by his wisdom you keep whispering in a year no problem but the fact remains that God Almighty in the Quran doesn't need nobody's blood. In the Bible, you cannot be forgiven except by blood. That is the difference between Christianity and Islam. We believe in forgiveness. You believe in payment by blood only. This is the which you not got. Because Jesus said, I have many good things to tell you now. You cannot buy them. Okay, yes? And he, the paraclete, when he comes, he'll lead you into all truth. And that paraclete is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who taught us that Allah is the most just, the most merciful, and the most wise. He doesn't need anybody's blood. Now, wait, 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 wait. You heard what I said. Now, you answer my question. Can you be forgiven without the innocent human sacrifice of Jesus Christ? No. There you go. See, you need a human sacrifice. We Muslims don't. 
الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام. Okay. So, so, so now, so now the now the question is: This is the good news of the of the Quran. You have the bad news of still believing in bloodshed, and the only way you can be forgiven is by the bloodshed of a human being. Why is your God not merciful? Why pointing fingers now? What happened to your love and humility earlier? It's all talk, isn't it? Your good works, your good works, and did I say good works? I said the mercy of Allah. You were not listening. Where's the mercy? Where's the mercy? The mercy is. What is the mercy? I just showed you. You are brought up with a Muslim man. Okay. Have you read the Quran? And he no. Exactly my point. So doesn't matter if you. He's my stepdad, and I see. I know him personally, and I still see. He's a. He's still in his sin. He's he he prays five times a day. Yet he he isn't been. What is your dad's sin? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Exactly. So don't. Are you saying you're without sin? No, I'm a sinner. So even after Jesus is sacrificed, you're still a sinner. What's the difference then? We're all sinners. Exactly. Because he so gives that, us grace. So that that he, sacrifice was in vain because you're still a sinner. I I, I live righteously. As By the way, do you know what the Bible says? Do you know what the Bible says? That he gave the ones the, the ones who are born devil. again will never sin again. But you born again, sin again. Okay, shall I show you? Jesus okay. came Come here forward. to die for our sins. Come forward, no problem. Jesus came here to die for our sins. He said he doesn't he say that in the Bible. He buried and resurrected. Exactly, you need a, you need a human sacrifice. Jesus, we don't. Yes. Jesus died for our sin. You know, we don't need a human sacrifice. Jesus you do. And, That's the difference. Jesus died for our sins, and there's no forgiveness without the blood of Christ. Exactly my point. My God doesn't need no blood. Your God does. What's the difference? That is the difference between someone who believes in like a satanic ritual where they perform. Animal sacrifice and human sacrifice. You know, if you ask the Hindus, they give sacrifice to someone called ba, uh, Kali, who, who, who is a goddess, a Hindu goddess, just like Baal. Ritual blood of Jesus, and you eat the ritual flesh of Jesus. You are a ritual cannibal. Have you, have you finished whispering in the year? Paganism. You unadulterated paganism. Okay. So first and foremost, do born again, do born again Christians can the sin or not? Christian. Born again Christians who sin, do will they go to heaven or hell? Born again. Listen to the question. Born again Christians, you can you can come here. Born again Christians who sin, will they go to heaven or hell? You confess your sins. Answer. He is, no, I'm, I'm sorry. If if you confess your sin, yeah, he is faithful enough to forgive. Also, you still have to confess your sin. Of course. So it means there's no. What's the point of of Jesus dying on the cross? Because before Jesus died on the cross, God wanted you to repent for your sins and seek forgiveness. After his after his after his after his, after his sacrifice. You still need to repent. You have different sins. Yeah, you even have when we were sinners, Christ died for our sins. Even when we were born again Christians who sin will go to hell. That is the difference. What are you saying? What are you there's saying? lust. There's greed. There's adultery. There's all these types of sins. But when you are born again Christian, yeah. and something that might have had you in the world, such as love, lust, or the, or such as adultery, or such as all these things, yeah. when you believe in, when you give your life to God, and it's something that had you and and had you in bondage and that had you enslaved then he gives you a transformation and renewal of mind and sets you free from your sin okay. and, and, and what if you sin okay okay wait wait let her finish let her finish it's okay let her so once are you saying that if you are in, in bondage to your sin and then you receive Jesus Christ then you stop sinning am I right I, I wait can I just share something with you I used to suffer with lust I used to suffer in the flesh the fleshly desires of the world Even you do uh, yeah. Even do. Everybody does. Have respect. She's finishing her sentence. Go on, finish it. So you have the flesh, yeah? yeah. And then you have the spirit. I'll show you. When Come. I was in the world, my fleshly enslavement was lust. I searched for love and I and I and I and I, and I suffered from lust. So Okay. So so this gentleman earlier asked me because I made a statement that born again Christians cannot sin because if they do, then they are oh, so, they are going so, to hell. So he asked me for proof. I'm going to show you the proof. When I, when yes, I gave, I'm not talking when, to you. Those, those who live in the flesh will not inherit the kingdom. No, they will not. But this is where the churches are getting it. Can right. the born again sin? Cheap. That's the question. Can the born again sin? If you are, if you're not, if you're not sold out, and he God says you're either hot or you're cold. You don't serve 
the light course. and the darkness. If you, if, if, you, if you are lukewarm, you will be scratched. Can we all show you the evidence? Willfully, and you're the one you see. Yes, willfully, of course. You only sin willfully. You don't just sin by... Uh, by uh, I believe, I believe, if I, was still, if I was still in my sin, if I was still in my flesh, living in lust, living in adultery, living in idolatry, living in um, with greed, living not, with pride, I will not go to heaven. Do you sin still? No. You stop sinning. I can stand here and say that I no longer um, watch pornography. I no longer lust for other men and, and whatever else. I no longer... Are you saying you don't sin at all? Seriously? So you become like Jesus? Yeah. Wow. Any other Christian here claims that they don't sin I'm at all? I'm sold out for God. Okay. I sin. Little I, sin. Little sin. No, no, no. no, no. Sin, sin in the eyes of God is sin. Doesn't matter what. Okay. When he said all right. Sin. So the question, the question is this. If you, if you, if you're born again, if you're born again, okay. I don't masturbate. I don't, I don't. You don't need all that. Oh, Lady, listen, God. listen. Do you commit any sin at all? No. Okay, so you become not, like Jesus now. Right, so wow. in Corinthians 13, right? <laughs> so this Christian here is saying she doesn't sin at all. Now, this is what the Bible says about those people who are Christians and do who do sin. It says here, no one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. Okay, now watch this. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right, yes, means sin, is not God's child, nor is anyone who does not love their brother and sister. So the question is that, if you sin, then you are a Satan's child, not God's child. Alright, so there you go. So anyone, anyone who claims, any Christian who claims they don't sin at all, then they have become like Jesus. Wow, hallelujah. And that is a lie to me, because everyone, all Bani Adam, all all humans sin and the best of them are who repent and this is the reality but the question the question that we need to ask you is this if you continue worshiping a man as God that itself is the biggest okay. sin okay, let because me you, you it says this is the sin I do not commit I am sinless okay when it comes sinless. to fornicators idolaters adulterers worshiping a man is idolatry Mankind, not thieves, thieves, drunkards, believers, extorters. I am none of them. Do you know worshiping a man is idolatry? Jesus. You worship Jesus. Jesus. So you're an idolater. According to that, you're a sinner. There should be no idol. And earlier you said you don't sin. He's God. So that's a sin. God. That's a sin. He's I'm sorry God. to say this. He's God. But God doesn't. Does God have a God? God. God, does, God, does God have a you God? Have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Show me God the Son in the Bible where he says God the Son. Or God the Holy Spirit. It doesn't say that in the Bible. You're just preaching from the church because they told you so. You I never read the Bible. I never. don't go to church. Okay, so where did you get this statement? I've actually been chucked out of three churches because I'm spirit led. And when I. The, in so the she Bible, doesn't sin. She doesn't need to go to the church. This is called heights of in delusion. The Bible, in the Bible. This is called. Says, even from a Christian perspective. Many, there will be many, many wolves in sheep's clothing and this is where even the actual true Christians actual um, uh, you know, on fire Christians ones who are sold out dead on this earth and it's a Christ living in them they actually even have to do you follow Christ? do you follow Christ? it's Christ in me it's no longer okay. me so Christ, it's God in when me Christ, when God Christ was me. when Christ was on earth whom did he worship? If when Christ is on he was obedient to the Father no no whom did he worship? he was obedient to whom did he pray to? he was obedient to whom did he pray to? God. Thank you. So if Jesus prayed to God the Father, whom do you pray to? I pray to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So how do you follow Jesus? The Father, you don't. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You follow the church, you don't follow Jesus. Right, so God the Father knows the plans he has for us, yeah, before he places us in his mother's womb. Then you have Jesus who came here as our Savior to teach us, to teach us, to teach us the right ways, to be the light and the Savior of the world, to then go back into the world and to be the light and to tell people. You're not even answering Jesus, the question Jesus, you're preaching Jesus, again Jesus, I think you you really think you stop cutting me short no, no, but, but you're not answering then, the question I'm, I asked you we had the where Spirit, did Jesus the Holy Spirit that comes upon us and gives us the strength that is no longer us it's him
him that lives in us, through us. So it's Why don't you follow to Jesus? You, to you, it might not be possible. It might be sound stupid that I no longer am a slave. No, you don't follow Jesus. You but follow I the church. I am Je Jesus. No, you follow Jesus. Jesus not at all. lives in me. So I no, no longer if Jesus, am a slave to my sin. Wait, oh, Jesus lives in you or the Holy Spirit, Spirit lives in you? Who lives in you? And I'm a new creation in Christ. I think that's I a no script. She's learned a script. I no longer okay, so my dad. because she doesn't want to engage, I think what I want to say is this. Jesus, when he was on earth, you're just reading from a script now. You're not even engaging in a discussion. The problem, the problem with the script, the, blood of the, lamb, the problem with the script is this. You can't Jesus, my testimony. when he was on earth, he never worshipped anyone except his God. I'm free. She worships Jesus. She worships a man. She worships. Yeah, she's she's worshiping a man. Not she's. You're not you're not worshiping God of Jesus. You're worshiping a man whom Jesus himself worshipped God Almighty. But you're worshipping Jesus and the Holy Spirit and the Father against Jesus Christ. Okay? Nowhere in the Bible it says God the Son or God the Holy Spirit. Those are your words. You put in the Bible. Now you preach. You can read your script. But wait, wait. If you don't want to engage. here is defended the good news and the truth. The good news is worship God of, God of Jesus. you mercy. Where's your mercy? I told you without a bloodshed. Without any bloodshed. My Allah is able to forgive. Yes, I would rather be the slave of Allah than the slave of a man like Jesus. You're, because you're Jesus himself, Jesus himself, Jesus himself worship. Anything. You know how did Jesus worship? He fell on his forehead and he prayed to his God. It, Who does free. this? You're the Muslims do this. Yes, I, I would rather be slave to Allah to than to man. Anytime, no problem. And you pray five times a day and you're still going to hell. Who said that? You're a liar. Go away, liar. Go away, liar. Because the thing is this, when you lie, you go away and you run like the Satan. The, the problem the problem is this. They worship the church. That's the reason she's saying, I, I worship the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus never ever said to do that. No prophet, no prophet, no messenger, no apostle, no disciples ever said this. Okay? Why did no one ever say this? None of them worship Jesus. None of them. None of them said the father, this. The son, None of them. Not even Abraham. Abraham. Not even Moses. No one worshipped the, the son. No one. Go away, you madman. No, no. Okay, don't so this away. is this don't is don't a, this is what we don't even look at you. Okay. So so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. He doesn't need. By the way, stop pushing that in my face, please. It's very rude. I think you. What does he say? It's not. No, it's not. Yeah. What does he say to worship? What does he say to worship? He's lying. He doesn't say to worship. Okay. Keep whispering in your ear. Go away, you madman, go away. Okay, so Allah doesn't need blood. That God needs blood. Can you be forgiven without blood? Answer. Have I, have answer. answer. No. No. There you go. You so bloodthirsty God, bloodthirsty God is a pagan God. How much only pagans need. Today? Only the pagans how need much blood. Pagans only the pagans need no, blood. How much okay. you pay? Not the Muslims don't need no payment in blood. How much you pay? Do they? And you don't even know what they're Allah. Allah. Yeah, Allah gives me. Thank you. Yes, you're right. So, so, so. On your Quran, you haven't been paid. So my. You haven't been paid to come You need here. payment in blood. I don't need payment in blood. I need mercy of Allah. Okay? Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Stop spitting, man. Stop spitting. Okay, listen. Oh, he lost his, he lost his argument. Okay, so, so can you be forgiven without bloodshed? No. I win the argument. Finish. <laughs> It. So the reason we don't debate, the reason we don't debate these losers there eh, is because they are not worthy of our time. That is the reason. It's not because we're scared of them. They got nothing over us. Okay. The, did you see the way he was shouting? Uncivil. This is not what we want. At the end of the day, we are here to preach the message of God. And if there is no love in them, then why do these Christians preach love? Because when he was shouting and screaming on top of his voice, I didn't see any love or any humbleness. And that is not the way Jesus preached. Neither did he expect or advocate that kind of preaching. So we will not waste our time with garbage like that man over there who spits and who shouts and just all he does is like shout like a Satan. So why should we engage in this satanic ritual of theirs where they say that the only way they can be forgiven is by the blood of a perfectly innocent human being. So that is the reason we don't engage with people like that because Alhamdulillah we have Islam where Allah and the Rasul told us to preach in a way which is civil in a way which
which is humble in a way which is beneficial okay and this alhamdulillah is what we as muslims the dua should do as well do not engage with people who waste your time with people who are here just for the argument and those people have nothing to uh, to basically give to the society as something which is productive and useful and beneficial either from an islamic perspective from a muslim perspective or even from a christian and a non muslim perspective so jazakallah khairan brothers and sisters please do subscribe to dawa wise yes uh, brother mansoor brother myself uh, myself hashim alhamdulillah we all uh, come here and give dawa at speaker's corner and our purpose here is to preach the message of truth the message of mercy the message of peace from the islamic perspective and this is something what we all should definitely take part in jazakallah khairan assalamu alaikum yes, 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 yes. don't forget john <laughs> fountain mashallah welcome bro alhamdulillah <laughs> good to see you man. nice nice to see you alhamdulillah so assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh